Hello everyone. Welcome to hands-on SD10 coding tutorial. Session 25. IC10 CM guideline for COVID-19. To show our appreciation for doctors, nurses working in the ER during this uh, pandemic, medicalcodecenter.com will donate half of our 2020 revenue to our local hospital. Also, we would like to thank everyone who paid for the subscription during this year. So half of your payment will go to our local hospital. First, an overview of this session. So in this session, we will talk about the uh, guidelines for COVID-19. The first rule is to code only confirmed cases. And then how to sequence the codes. How to code acute acute respiratory illness due to COVID-19 and how to code exposure or screening for COVID-19. So what if the uh, patient doesn't have definite diagnosis of COVID-19 but only have symptoms and signs? So how to uh, code the patient uh, without any symptom but has uh, tested positive for COVID-19? And finally, how to code COVID-19 infection in pregnancy, childbirth, puerperium. Puerperium means um, four weeks after childbirth. So the first rule is to code only confirmed COVID-19 case. So if the patient is tested positive for COVID-19, or this document simply code has uh, document has uh, document simply says the patient has COVID-19. So you code U07.1.1 the COVID-19 uh, code. So it's not required to have a test performed. If the patient uh, is suspected to have COVID-19 or is possible, probable, inconclusive COVID-19, you only call the symptoms fever, cough, or SOB, shortness of uh, breath. If no symptom, you just call Z20.828. So let's go uh, to the book to see the uh, to see the uh, code involved in this uh, slides. First, U07.1. That's our COVID-19 uh, code, U07.1. Uh, so we talked about the uh, how to use Atino code and includes one. What does it mean uh, in the last episode? So the second code, we want to see is Z20.828. So contact with suspected exposure to other viral communicable disease. So that's if the patient is possibly have the uh, COVID-19. So let's go back to slide. So how to sequence code? So the COVID-19 code U07.1 is always the first code, then followed by the simplen codes if you want to add the simplen codes. But except for pregnancy, childbirth, pure peering. So we'll talk about later about this. So if uh, the patient exposure to uh, has exposure to COVID-19, for the possible exposure, you code Z03.818. Uh, uh, encounter for observation for suspected exposure to other biological agents ruled out. If you have actual, the patient has actual exposure to COVID-19, you code Z20.828. Contact with uh, suspected exposure to other viral communicable diseases. So for screening for COVID-19, you code Z11.59. 
encounter for screening for other viral diseases. So let's go to the uh, coding book to see uh, all this code involved. So as we can see here, uh, the first code here we is z zero three dot eight one eight. In for observation of for suspected exposure to other biological agents ruled out. The second code is to uh, let's go back to this code we mentioned that before Z twenty dot eight two eight. So if the patient has possible contact with the uh, uh, COVID nineteen, you code Z twenty dot eight two eight. And finally, the code is the screening for COVID-19 code Z11.59. So this is encounter for screening for other viral diseases. So you can code to the code, coding book like this. That's a screening code. Okay, next we will talk about the Acute respiratory illness due to COVID-19. First, for new pneumonia caused by COVID-19, you first code uh, U0107.1, uh, the COVID-19 code, and then you code J12.89. Then for acute bronchitis, you code U0107.1 uh, first, and then code J20.8 for the acute bronchitis due to other specified organism. Then for respiratory infection due to COVID-19, there's two cases. If the um, respiratory infection is the uh, acute lower respiratory infection, code uh, U07.1 and then code J22. For other uh, respiratory infection, so you just code J98.8. For ARDS, acute respiratory, respiratory distress syndrome, you code uh, J80, acute respiratory distress syndrome. So in all these cases, uh, all those um, respiratory illness due to COVID-19, you code COVID-19 code first, U07.1, and then you code the uh, respiratory illness. So let's go to the, um, the, the coding book to look for those codes related. Well, first, J12.89. So that's the pneumonia. So if the patient has pneumonia due to COVID-19, you code J12.89 first. Then we have J20.8. That's acute bronchitis due to specified organism. So you code J20.8 first, and then the, oh sorry, you code the, uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, code U07.1 first and then J20.8 then we have J22 so if the patient has uh, acute lower respiratory infection due to COVID-19 so you code U07.1 first and then this J22 code and for other respiratory uh, disorder, you just code um, 
again, if the uh, lost product disorder is due to the uh, COVID-19, you code uh, U07.1 first and then J98.8 for the uh, uh, specified loss product disorder. The final code in this uh, slide is the J80. So if the uh, patient has acute respiratory distress, distress syndrome due to uh, COVID-19, again you code U07.1 for COVID-19 and then uh, this code J80. So if the patient only um, have signs and symptoms, but it's not definite uh, diagnosis of uh, COVID-19, you call the symptom cough for R05 and then shut off SOB for R06.02, and then you call fever for R50.9. If the patient has actual uh, or suspected contact with exposure to someone who has COVID-19 code Z20.828. So if the patient uh, has tested positive for COVID-19 but does not have any uh, symptoms, so you, you still code U01, uh, U07.1. But uh, if the co uh, COVID-19 infection happens during the pregnancy, childbirth, or the uh, pure pairin, then you first code the uh, 098.5, and then you code the uh, U07.1. So this is an exception. You don't code the uh, COVID-19 first. You code this uh, all code, the uh, pregnancy-related code first, and then the uh, COVID-19. So let's go to this. Uh, Coding book to search for those code. First, you know, if you have cough, so you code R05 for the cough code or SOB. You code R06.02, or you have um, fever. Fever has a lot of code, but you have to scroll down to the uh, R50.9, this code here, for the fever. And then the COVID-19 uh, uh, infectious during pregnancy, you have to code the uh, 098 5 So you have to code either one of this four code here or those two codes for the uh, pregnancy. Uh, so this is other viral disease complicating pregnancy, childbirth, and uh, pupillary. So in this case, you have code this uh, 095.5 first and then the COVID-19 which is the exception. Uh, we know in all other cases we code COVID-19 code first and then the symptom or other codes. So that's the end of this session. Um, Thank you very much for uh, watching this. Uh, so please stay home and stay safe. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.